Here's a quick Power Query challenge and showing you two ways of solving something. One with manual button clicks, unpivoting, etc. Another, just typing in a couple of lines of code and using a list. OK, so what's, what are we aiming for here? Well, we've got item A and value A, baton, and then we've got item B and value B, ball. Okay, I want it to lay out like this item A bat 3, item B ball 6. So basically one line becomes two lines, but separated by the two different columns. Then it repeats item A salt 4, that is this, item A salt 4, item B pepper 8. So that's the plan. All right, so where do we start? Well, this is already a table, so perfect. Control T if it's not. And then right click, get data from table slash range. We're going to do this in two different methods. So I'll just start, and because I'm going to use two different methods, I'm just going to rename this as start, okay, and right click reference it. Great. So then what we can do is highlight these two columns and merge them together. I like the next two, merge them together, and then unpivot, and then split them apart. So here we go. Right click, merge columns. Okay, I'm just going to call this, or oh, use the separator custom. I like to use the pipe symbol. Okay, shift and then the key just above enter on, on my keyboard anyway. And I'll call this, uh, let's call this item A, and click OK. OK, it's trying to protect me by calling it A1, but I just want it to be called A. So I'll just edit the formula bar there. Great, do the same thing here. Right click, merge columns. Custom pipe. I might as well call this item B. And again, up in the formula bar, it's trying to help me so change that to item B. Perfect. And then right click, unpivot other columns. So I've right clicked on the date column. And now I've got the A and B together and I can just split out this column, right click split column by delimiter. Click OK. And again, it says value one and value two. That's the change type step. I'm going to get rid of that. So it's splitting it out into value one and value two. And I can just change those to uh, item and value. Just saves adding an extra step doesn't really matter if you do. And there we go. We've now got it working nicely. And this is item type. Oh, and again, I don't have to call, change it back there. I can do it in the unpivoted step. And rather than adding an extra step, I can just rename this one to item type. Lovely. OK. Then the other approach, right click reference, is you can just create a like a list of records, and those records are essentially columns that you pick. So let's just, I'll show you this easiest way to understand. If I go to custom column, so add column, custom column, uh, I'm going to create a list of records, okay, and then square bracket, okay, you can just give it a, essentially a rec uh, the name of that sort of element within the record. So item type is going to be item A. And then you just put commas rather than having to put separators or anything like that. So um, then the item, these are essentially the column headings, um, equals and then square bracket item A. And value is going to be value A. Okay, 
So we can then close off that record, do a comma, and I'll just copy the whole thing underneath. And we'll just change this to B. So essentially you're creating like a list of these records. It'll be a bit clearer once I actually click OK. All right, so there we go. Uh, click OK. So here we have a list of, and if I drag this up, a list of records. So all I need to do is keep that column and that column, right click, remove other columns, and then expand out to new rows. And within that record, I've got item eight, bat and three. Okay, within the next one, I've got item B, ball and six. So I can just expand. Those are the three headings. Click OK. And we're pretty much done. Just do a change type step. So transform, detect data type. Lovely. So that's another approach. Okay, different alternatives. You can really structure those records. Um, it's pretty cool. Let me know what you think. You might find these other Power Query challenges pretty interesting. And I'll catch you in the next video.